It's a story we've been following for almost a year now. A mudslide in man now at the center of a lawsuit that's now adding more parties and claims. All the while, the debris has remained untouched. Anna Saunders is live in our studio tonight to explain. Back in August, this mudslide took out a home, injured it, displaced a family, and left a mess on Vine Street in Mann. But now it is in a court battle, one that two coal companies have since been added to. The caution tape has withered away. Siding has been removed, weeds even growing out of the debris. But now, almost a year later, the damage from the Mann mudslide remains unchanged. It is an eyesore and somewhat of a hazard. John Fackety, the newly elected mayor of Mann, says aside from no trespassing signage, there is not much the town can do right now. But wait to see how it plays out in court. It is in, in the middle of a lawsuit, uh, but we still have to keep the public safe. The Gerace family, the owners of the home, sued Judith and Davis Lewis Revocable Trust and the W.W. McDonald Land Company in December. Both are listed as the owners of the mountaintop above the home. The Gerace's attorney, Nathan Brown, says they are now adding more parties to the defendant list with Appalachia Coal Company and the Band Mill Coal Company, who have been leasing the land for strip mining since 1975. The lawsuit argues that all parties were negligent, with the land resulting in the hillside sliding. He says the plan from here is to combine with the other lawsuit filed by the Jones family, who was renting the home at the time. I'm not against surface mining in, in any fashion, but uh, we believe that the adverse effect here is some way caused by that, and uh, as a result, has resulted in a property loss to my client that we allege to be in excess of $350,000. With the new complaints just being filed Thursday, Brown says no new court dates have been scheduled yet. But he says they're trying to move as quickly as possible. Meanwhile, Fackety says the town will be ready to help when the lawsuit wraps up. Just give us a little bit of time. Uh, I promise that the, uh, the right people are aware of what's going on. And uh, we will, I will continue to push forward to make sure this gets resolved. Now, I've reached out to the parties involved and the companies now listed and have been unable to reach them at this time. Live in the studio, Anna Saunders, Eyewitness News. Thank you for watching, and here's another video to watch from Eyewitness News. Just click right here to subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell notification for the latest.